subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. Worry, rumors, news, confliction, drama, change of plans, backpedaling, all this and much more. We're going to explore and get right into it. Wild news and rumors and lines and breaking news right here on Sean's View Entertainment. Please sign up to become a channel member today. Donate in the comment section. It will really help help keep Sean's View Entertainment right here on this very website for each and every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to jump right into it as it concerns a major concern backstage. Mary worry, very much worry. A lot of chaos. What's going to happen with the title? Is there going to be a swap? Is there going to be a relinquishment? What is going to go down? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it right now. But before that, we got breaking news on a WWE star's broken neck added to the other injuries that they already had upon further evidence, upon further detail. And this one is absolutely astronomical because viewers, fans, and subscribers, something that this star didn't expect, something we didn't see coming, but it is coming down the pike. And you got to wonder, is this going to set back them? Because ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, Charlotte Flair not only suffered multiple injuries to her knees and her legs, but suffered an additional neck injury, perhaps a stinger or a broken neck on top of the knee surgery that she had. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, what is going to be the return date? It looked like nine months, but Charlotte Flair could be set back even further from that, now dealing with a severe neck injury. And as you can know, many stars in the industry have dealt with neck injuries. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Paige, among others in the industry, in the company, and this probably isn't a good thing. And also, we all know Edge had very bad neck problems in WWE. So you're going to wonder what's going to go on there. Also, ladies and gentlemen, is a WWE star about to make a comeback? But I don't think it would be the most popular thing to do. Velveteen Dream contacted WWE employees about a wrestling comeback. But right now, that is very much up in the air. And we are going to get in to the cancer, the leukemia. We are going to get into what is going on with the SmackDown star, their championship, and their future right here on Sean's View Entertainment. Don't go anywhere. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news as it concerns the future of a major Raw superstar. Cody Rhodes reveals his WWE schedule for future dates. Again, there was a lot of rumors and speculation about whether Cody Rhodes was going to resign, whether he was going to go away, whether he was going to stay with the company. And again, there was a couple of weeks ago, guys, look it up online. There was a couple of weeks ago that, you know, he refused to sign a contract, according to those that know. But Cody Rhodes dropped a post on X with a graphic done by up by WWE to promote where he will be over the next month. Obviously, the grandson of a plumber is going to be a very busy man, but Dates that are absent is following the WWE WrestleMania 40. So you got to wonder what that is alluding to. Also, Rhea Ripley is now throwing her name in the hat with Tony Khan in AEW. Rhea Ripley is now reacting to Tony Khan and Jindam Hall's Twitter controversy online where the following was said, gender rules. And we saw WWE, Champions, WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley like the tweet and the... Uh, Eradicator also expressed approval for another tweet acknowledging the wise, wise, the widespread support for Jinder Mahal on social media. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, a special visual presentation is being planned for WWE Raw after WrestleMania. Again, a lot of rumors about major changes coming to WWE Raw following WrestleMania 40. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a championship match is going down in the history books in WWE. You got to wonder what has that been. Well. Uh, let's see, the WWE NXT Championship win that happened on NXT last night goes down in history books. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a former WWE star backs the idea of The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania over a Cody Rhodes match. Also, ladies and gentlemen, LA Knight anticipated that his WWE fan reaction dying down at some point. Now, LA Knight's fan reaction isn't dying down. If anything, it's catching more, uh, you know, notoriety, more notorious, more popular, and louder as it goes on and on. But viewers, fans, and subscribers, that is not all because listen to this one. Uh, a lot of rumors and speculation as to why Roman Reigns doesn't defend his title, why he doesn't show up, why he's in there all the time. Uh, and it has to do with the rumor mill, the rumor mill going in and, and, and saying that Roman Reigns, obviously with his leukemia, the doctors, uh, the nurses, uh, the, the cancer doctors have to keep a close eye on Roman Reigns. He has a lot, of, a lot of appointments. He has a lot of different things he's got to attend to. So Roman Reigns' leukemia and the fact that he's had it not once but twice and the fact is, is it could come back again and it really... Uh, took apart Roman Reigns' career, his life, and that is why Roman Reigns cannot compete and show up. So that goes to the question, why did Roman Reigns get given the title and win the title and have this title for so long? But that is why he shows up 
every now and again and doesn't defend the title as much because he has to be closely monitored with all the treatments and everything that he goes along with it to make sure that the leukemia, and as we all know, Roman Reigns did come down with COVID as well, so that did not help matters at any stage. So that is the uh, Roman Reigns update. And, and again, Roman Reigns does get checked periodically according to those in the know uh, about his health, his well-being, um, and, and the cancer and the remission he's in, and hopefully it doesn't come back. So that is why Roman Reigns is being booked as he is and not there at live events, SmackDown, or pay-per-views all the time. More to come from Sean's. We do this by design multiple times a day, every single day. More to come. What are your thoughts on Roman Reigns, his title reign, and what are your thoughts on Roman Reigns and WrestleMania? Should he defeat the record set by Hulk Hogan for the WWE Championship? Later.